Hi, I'm Karina Varela, and in this video, we are going to talk about Process Variable Tagging, a feature that allows developers to hint JBPM for extra behavior to a specific process variable. Tags can be out of the box or custom ones, and they can be used in process instances and case instances. These tags are simple string values that are added as a metadata to a specific variable in your process or case and each variable or case can have multiple tags. This feature is available in JBPM 739 or Red Hat Process Automation Manager 78+. In this demonstration, I have a Business Central connected to a key server, and I imported a, pro a project named Variable Tagging Sample, which contains a process event listener and a business process. Notice that in this process, I expect to have three variables, a name, a passport, and an approved variable, um, where I just said that the name variable is a required variable. And this means that I can only start a process instance if this variable is supplied. The, uh, the same is valid for case management. If you try to start a process without this variable, a variable violation exception is going to be thrown. We also have the read-only tag. This means that this variable can be set only once during the life cycle of the process instance. If you try to set it twice or more times, you're going to get also a variable violation exception. Finally, you can create custom tags, which you can use via the implementation of event listeners. And when you implement the event listener, you have now access to two methods. That is the get tags and the has tags. And this method is going to enable you to create custom behaviors based on the tags of a specific process variable. And you can check before the variables changed and after the variables changed. And then you can implement, for example, security behaviors where only a specific uh, row can change a specific variable. So let's see this in action. I'm going to deploy this project and let's see if it's all good to go. Yep, it is here. We could either open the key server docs in order to use the Swagger API to interact with the processes, but I already have here a postman We're good to ready to go. So let's see what happens if I try to start a new process instance without a name. I get the exception. Unable to create response variable name in process instance 28 is violated. And if you check the logs, you'll see that we got exactly the variable violation exception. Good, so now let's insert a name to this process. And the name is Karina Varela. Good, I started the process instance 29. And now I wanna check. Uh, I wanna update the variable which we have here that is the read only variable. This read only variable is the passport. And as you can see, we have the tag set. Let's try it out. So if I try to set the passport with the value ff123456, okay, it's I got it updated. Let me clean this terminal. And if I try to set it again, I'm going to get the same exception, okay? The var variable violation exception because I can only change a read-only variable once. Finally, 
let's confirm that the, the variable was not updated. Oops. Good, I have my variable here. And what happens if I try to update the process variable named approved? I want it to be true. Remember that I have a process event listener, which I, I configured to output all the tags of the variable that is being changed. Notice that I get here my methods being called before and after the variable is changed. So now let's check what happens within Business Central when we try to start a new process instance. Let me start it here with the name Karina in my passport. And let's see if I can get to update this passport, which is a read only variable within my user task. You will notice that the form is already generated with a read only input. So I'm not able to change this. So let me just fill this. Karina V. So if I go here, I can see my all the outputs printed whenever my variables got changed. That's what I wanted to share with you today. You can try it today on JBPM and wait for it on Red Hat PM78. Thanks for watching.